Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Demi C Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you are here for the first time, my content is mostly fragrance reviews and uh, fashion and lifestyle videos, so please do consider subscribing. I do upload at least four times a week, uh, so there's a lot of content that comes on this channel and I would appreciate you coming on board. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. And please do, uh, do follow me on Instagram, guys. I go by the name C Chronicles only without the talking sense on Instagram. I have inserted, uh, you know, my page there. Do follow me on Instagram. Please leave a comment that you've come from my YouTube channel and I'll give you a follow back. I'm here with a fragrance review video for you. I don't have this one in a bottle uh, because I didn't get it. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be talking about. Latafa Pride and this is Shaheen. Shaheen Gold. I have it in sample form. I have 20 ml samples. If you guys are, are not aware of it, uh, these are the Latafa samples, you know, of their new collection. I don't know if they're going to continue doing this, but this is very generous of them because their samples are 20 ml. So there's plenty there. So okay. we're here to talk about Shaheen Gold. Uh, for those people who are interested in the silver one, I have featured it before. I did it in a, in a vlog form uh, where I did feature four Latafa uh, Pride Collection fragrances in one video. I'm going to, uh, you know, insert that video so if you want a, a comparison, you can go ahead and check Shaheen Silver on that video. Uh, but today we're talking about this one. So I've just done one spray. I'm going to do another one. I've given this a test run. So it's not a, uh, it's not like it's a first impressions. I've given it a test run. It opens up with pineapple and grapefruit. These notes are listed on the uh, on, on the Latafa uh, uh, pamphlet, which I forgot to bring here and I don't have anywhere near me. So yeah, um, but there is grapefruit uh, and pineapple at the top and that's followed by uh, some lavender and fig in the mid and and then the, the base is tonka, vanilla, and some patchouli. So basically, um, what I get here in the opening is a uh, an obviously masculine feel. Okay, I get an obviously masculine feel. There is a burst of that pineapple, but it's quickly uh, overshadowed by a sour grapefruit. Um, but there is a lot of sweetness going on in the top here um, that I get here. So uh, there is a grapefruit here. Probably they've put it to tone down that softness, but it doesn't give a fresh vibe here. To me, the grapefruit is on the sour side so if you can imagine that that's what i'm getting uh you know from the top so uh, it opens up with that syrupy uh, uh, uh fruity feel a, a touch of florals there because it's, there is that lavender obviously and some fig in the mid so it's gonna have a touch of florals there but it stays sweet because i think even the lavender here is translating as sweet and then the fig is also trans uh, translating as a honeyed uh, fig because uh honey uh, i mean fig can be uh, uh, can be sweet so i'm getting a very sweet Sweet top and what I get here is what I carry through actually with this fragrance but it is definitely on the masculine side so I have to point that out because I've been saying these are his and hers um, you can do the comparison with the silver one but I'm getting I'm getting a lot of masculineness from Shaheen uh, gold uh, so yeah in the mid enters that lavender at the fig adding to that sweetness okay and because of that this is my least favorite it gives me masculine vibes but very sweet so you know it's it's a, it's, a, it's a bit all over the place because when you get a sweet fragrance most sweet fragrances like this kind of sweet you'd expect them to be feminine but there's something that is overly uh, uh, sm um, it smells very overly masculine here as though there's some vertiver but they haven't lift listed vertiver you know as a note in the base they've put in some tonka and some vanilla and some patchouli and this is off the um latafa uh, you know pamphlet or latafa website so yeah definitely something that smells so masculine here uh, a patchouli gives it a bit of some greenness but there's too much of the patchouli going on here uh, and then there's that tonka it's also a bit sweet but also a bit earthy uh, and sadly unfortunately this is my least favorite of the latafa pride collection uh, i don't have it in full bottle size even when i was given options i did not take this in full bottle size because it's it's one that I just um, I felt is too masculine for me and it was too sweet. Um, it dries down to like a powdery, uh, a very sweet, stuffy, uh, powdery scent um, with a with a lot of notes clashing there. A bit again on the headache inducing side. So uh, I, I, unfortunately, this is one that I didn't tick my boxes. But I see a lot of men uh, liking this uh, fragrance, and unfortunately, I see some women purchasing it because of the bottle, and then you know. Uh, uh, realizing that oh no 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 if you if this is not blind by safe if you're a woman that's all i can say because in as much as the gold ones are more f feminine leaning from this collection this one unfortunately is masculine uh leaning i'm pretty sure it is you know uh um it, 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 it is similar to something out there but for me when i get fragrances like this this kind of scent profile i usually stay away from because uh uh you know i just 
I, I just don't like the scent profile uh, or what I'm getting here. So I usually just stay away from that. And unfortunately, because of that, I cannot liken it to something, to some people that come here for a mental shortcut. All I can say is it's a super sweet fragrance. Uh, it turns a bit powdery because uh, that lavender turns a bit powdery. I think there's some tonka there, an overdose of it, actually. But it's a very sweet tonka mixing with a, a, a you know, like a little bit of some greenness with a the patchouli there. Uh, but uh, the tonka also, though it's a bit earthy, it fails to ground this fragrance. So it becomes a fragrance that's a bit all over the place. I could be judging this one wrongly because I'm smelling this with a, obviously a feminine nose because I get a lot of mus masculinity from this. Just even smelling the nozzle here before I sprayed it on this, I, I could just tell immediately that no, this is for men. Okay, or oh, this is masculine or this is the scent profile that I, I, I would usually, um, you know, identify or classify as masculine. It is also on the beast mode side. So for those people that love very beastly fragrances, uh, this is is gonna tick your boxes because I've been on uh, this is a separate paper I actually forgot the one that I was testing it since this morning but that paper is still going okay and it's it, I'm, I'm now recording around 2 um, 2 p.m. and I, I try I started working with this one around 8 and that piece of paper or, or the the tester card is still going so it's one of those that are going to be so beastly so yeah definitely going to be a favorite for a lot of men out there but if you're a woman uh, don't let that pineapple top and grapefruit uh, fool you it is not too fruity um uh, the grapefruit quickly uh, turns this into like a sour affair and then a lot of sweetness because of that clash of knots which is something i'm getting with my nose something comes across as though there's vertiva here but they haven't listed vertiva as a note uh, there's definitely something again that is green but I, I would attribute that to maybe some patchouli, a very green, like a dirty patchouli that I get from here. Uh, uh, so you, if you are a patchouli lover, you're again going to uh, like this fragrance. So yeah, that is what I had for you guys. Shaheen uh, Gold, I don't have the full bottle. I'm going to link the uh, video where I did review the, the silver one, but the, the silver one is reviewed with four because on that one, I, I did a um, Winner's Trophy Silver. I did uh, the... Um, eternal oud which is the most popular in the line and then i did this one and another one so i will link that uh, video and then you can do a comparison a side by side comparison and this unfortunately is not going to come uh, to be part of my collection because to me it's too masculine in nature but if you're a woman and you like those sort of fragrances um then you can you know purchase this for yourself non relenting very out there uh, you know room filling those people that like a very loud fragrance you're going to like this one but very few, sweet again so it's quite deceiving that sweetness will make you think oh this is going to be a feminine fragrance but no it, it holds its own as an ultra masculine fragrance c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i'm glad i've gotten this one out of the way um i am still hunting for uh nebras a uh, silver because i've got uh, people that are coming asking for the the silver one because i've done the gold one uh, i haven't gotten my hands on the silver one guys but um because when i said i had it in my collection i actually thought i did i did because i had loads in my collection but i don't have that in my collection i'm gonna try and uh, get my hands on maybe a tester or something and then bring it here just for those people that want to see the silver one okay uh, but i have done the brass gold and i will link all the latafa prides that i've done so far in the description in this uh video so thank you so much for joining me today uh let me know what you think of shaheen gold if you own it okay uh but do remember like i said it's not blind by safe if you're a woman because it leans more uh masculine and uh, let's meet in the comment section and i will be back with another one pretty soon turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video like this video if you like it share it if you like you know if you want to share it and i hope you have subscribed if you haven't why not thank you so much for joining me guys and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers